So this video is going to cover how to set up your modded Wii to run games off a USB hard drive or SD card. I'll also show you how to back up your NAND, your Wii's internal memory, and install virtual console and WiiWare games that are no longer accessible off the Wii store, which is now closed. All you need to have is a modded Wii, which if you don't have one already, watch my other video and you'll have one in about 30 minutes, an SD card, and a hard drive enclosure that is self-powered. We're going to start off with downloading all the files that I've linked to in the description. You don't need to download all the emulator files, but you should download all the main files like Wii Flow, the WAD Manager, USB Loader, and the Wii Backup Manager and the D Animal Master Pack. So we're going to start off with extracting the Wii Backup Manager to our desktop. So I'm going to create a folder called Wii Backup Manager on my desktop and extract all the files to it. Oh, and for whatever reason, my computer glitched out and created a empty folder. So rename this. And there we go. So run as administrator. And in here has a tool to format your hard drives to FAT32 with the correct cluster size of the Wii likes. Now this will also do larger drives like one terabyte or two terabyte drives that we will accept using a 40 gigabyte in this video as an example. In the next video I'll be using a 1 terabyte drive. Once that's complete, we're then going to extract the Key Animal Master Pack to our SD card. Now to make things easier I'm going to label them in the file explorer here. There's my SD card. This is my Hard drive. So whenever you format with the Wii Backup Manager, it'll create a folder called WBFS for Wii games if you want to use it down the road. You don't need to use it. So open up the D Animal Master Pack and go into the SD card directory. Select everything and drag and drop into your SD card. I've sped everything up on the video, but this can take up to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your computer. So once all the files complete transferring, we're going to do the same thing for our Wii's hard drive. We'll go into the USB or hard drive directory and drag and drop all the files onto our actual hard drive. It'll be fairly quick because there's not too many files to transfer. Now we're going to set up all our Wii channels or WAD files on our hard drive. These will install channels on your Wii's main screen or the emulated NAND. So create a folder on your Wii's hard drive called the WADS, W-A-D-S, and inside that folder I like to organize it. So I'm going to create one for all our emulators called MU Forwarders and just drag and drop everything in the master shoes emulator pack. Now you don't need to copy over everything. You should really only copy the channels you want to use. I'm also going to copy over a USB loader channel. To install all these WADs, we need to have a WAD manager. I like to use the SUM yet another WAD manager mod. So we'll just drag and drop into that into our apps folder. Now we're going to start updating all the apps that we're really going to use. Starting with USB loader and then we flow. So again, for any kind of app that you want to run on your Wii, it's going to look for it on your SD card first, I recommend putting it there. 
if in the zip folders you find that it says the name of the app that you want to use, drag and drop that into your SD cards apps folder. If it says app, then you just drag and drop that onto your SD card. Don't get confused. Once you've pretty much done that, you can jump to our Wii. Test out and see if we got everything. Once we're on our Wii, you're going to want to make sure that your USB is plugged into port 1, which is closest to the outside, and the SD card is plugged in. Then we're going to launch the whole brew channel and install our very first channel onto our Wii's main screen. This is Wii MC and it will allow you to play DVDs if you've got the earlier model of Wii and play other multimedia. Then we're going to install the Wii Flow channel onto our main screen. We're then going to launch a WAD manager, the one that comes with the D-Animal Master Pack I don't like too much. So we're going to launch the other one, some WAD manager. Then we're going to navigate to our Wii's hard drive and launch the USB loader WAD. You see both ways of installing channels end up the same thing. I don't like installing too many channels on my Wii's main screen because it gets cluttered after a while. So I just mainly install the backup managers and WMC. You don't even have to install WMC if you don't want to. So we're going to launch Wii Flow and go into settings and we're going to back up our NAND. This usually takes only a few minutes. There's a lot of settings in here. The one thing that you should do is set your NAND emulation save the full and then Set your channels to emulated NAND. There's a lot of other settings you can play with and we'll go over that in the next video. We're going to do the same thing for the USB loader, which also allows us to back up our NAND, which I'll show you how to do in here. This also has a lot of settings that we'll go over in another video. So this takes about the same amount of time. I like using the USB loader better myself, but WeFlow is better for using RetroArch. Now we're going to load the homebrew channel again and I'll show you how to install an emulators channel. We'll do this on the Wii main screen in case you just really want to have one or two consoles on there that you really enjoy using. So we're going to use the Super Nintendo and you'll see now that's going to pop up on your Wii's main screen. You can always delete channels in your Wii settings, but you shouldn't mess around with your Wii's NAND too much. Now I'm going to show you how to set up games on your Wii's HD or SD. So we're going to start off with our WAD files, which is pretty much our WiiWare and Virtual Console. For that, we're just going to drag and drop whatever games that you have into another folder of WADs, either on your SD card or USB. I prefer USB because it generally has more space. So again, just drag and drop. I like to keep my stuff organized. So in my WADs folder, I'm going to create another folder for all my virtual console and WiiWare games. Go and drag and drop. Now we're going to do Wii games. There's two ways of doing it. 
If you don't have very many games, I would just recommend drag and dropping into your WBFS folder on your SD card or hard drive. If you got a lot of games, I would recommend using the Wii Backup Manager and selecting the drive and transferring them that way. Drive 1 is the game's source or where you have all your games stored. Make sure that they're in a folder called WBFS and it'll recognize everything from there. On drive 2, that's where you want to transfer them to. So select your hard drive or your Wii's SD card and transfer. This is a better way for transferring a lot of games at once because if there's an error, it knows exactly where and it'll transfer another game and not cause you any problems. If you drag and drop a lot of games at once and there's a problem, you don't know which games are corrupt or not. Now we're going to do GameCube games. We're going to create a folder called Games on our Wii's SD or hard drive and then inside that folder for each game you have to have another folder with the name of the game and the game ID in brackets afterwards. This will allow you to download box art down the road for your games. Inside that folder rename the ISO file or GMC or GCM file to game. If it's got two discs, the second disc should be named disc 2. Now for ROMs, each individual ROM emulator is different. But basically you'll just want to drag and drop either onto your USB or SD card. I find ROMs always work better if they're on your SD card, but sometimes they'll work on your USB too. I'll go over that more in another video. So now when we launch the USB loader, we should pretty much see all the games we transferred over Wii Wise and GameCube Wise. For the WADs, I would recommend using USB Loader GX and installing the WADs that way using their WAD manager because you can install a whole folder at once if you got multiple WADs. Now it's buggy and will error out a lot of the times and if it does just continue to try again and again and again or install them individually. To download the box art, just point and click where it says no image and it will automatically download all the box art that you want. Now this will take an extremely long time if you have a lot of games. In the next video I'll show you how to get all your box art, your Wii Flow and all that running well. As you can see here, we've got everything running fairly good and you should be good to go for the majority of your gaming needs. So like and subscribe and tune in for the next video.